Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today let's model uh, a piece of furniture. So, okay, so this one looks nice. Okay, so let's model this one. So before we start, see if we can find some, yeah. I think this one will be good. So find some uh, f some image to you know you know um, phone number on the side, but this one will be the most important part. Will be the the side. Okay, so let's just uh, save this image, and just I'll just save it on my desktop. Okay, so let's go to Revit, start a new family. So it will be furniture and OK. So first, so let's just go back here. So see if we can find um, some dimension. OK, so dimension 93 by um, I don't know which one's which. 93, 96. So it will be roughly 90, either 93 or 96 for the height, for the, and then similar, the depths, and the width will be uh, 68.5. So, okay, so let's go to uh, here, go to Revit. So first, so let's have a look. So currently, so if I go to front will be front will be here and the back will be here so this is left this is right so first let's just uh, uh, create some a reference plan so rp and rp rp okay so and then dimension di equal di so this will be the width so it will be um so it will be 68.5 okay so let's just type in equals uh six a five divided by two so now this one will be six six eighty five okay and then the depths um i'm not sure which one but let's just maybe just use i'll just use 95 for both okay so 95 for both i'll just uh equal them oh hell let me just um yeah i'm not sure if it's uh equal or not but i'll just type in equals 95 divided by oh sorry 950 divided by two so the overall depth will be 95 and then go to front view rp or you can also go to maybe let's go to the left because this one we can do a lot of work in the left in the side view okay so rp reference plan di dimension and let's make it 950 as well okay so now we can load that image so you can either go to insert and insert an image or you can just simply drop that image in here so let's just go image um not in yeah that's fine it's just uh, telling you so if you load this into a project you won't see that image okay so go to desktop uh, modify date modify today last one oh sorry not that one so what's what's the time uh, 10 10 p.m. Did I just save it here? So not that one. Hell, let me just save it again. So go back to this save uh, image as J. What a JF? Um, no idea. Maybe just let's just do a screenshot. So okay. So this save as uh today's date okay so close it go to revit 
insert so let's find it so this one and open here we go and then we just need to roughly move it or re uh, scale scale it and roughly place it to oops okay so i think that's about about right yeah i think that's that's it maybe the depths will be uh, need, oh, um, maybe the depth is uh 96 and see uh yeah that's fine let's just pretend that's 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 uh correct so okay so now we can start to model so first so if you look at this model so the image here so we can, so from the side view, we can model most of this chair. So for example, this, okay, can be one extrusion. And this can be one extrusion. This can be one extrusion. And this and this can be extrusion. And so this one looks like it needs to be, it's easier to extrude, ex, uh, create an extrusion from the front roughly uh, I'll just show you so you can create a profile and do an execution this way and same this one probably I think it's, it will be a, a curved shape to su support that support the weight so it'll be curved that way and then and can be extrusion uh, this direction I guess okay so let's maybe let's have a look is see if there's any other image so see this see this one and so this so this okay so let's go back to Revit so now first um let's go to floor plan so this is a side this is side so i'm going to name it so for example call the, i'll call this left so this will be the left side and call this right so this will be um front i guess and then this will be back so now if i go to left view and if I create an extrusion, so I can set the work plan to the left. So I'll pick this left and OK. And then we can create that shape. So I'll just roughly uh, follow this shape. OK, so it will be, uh, we can use arc. So like this. And then continue. Uh, you can have that chain on so you can continue your this arc okay so roughly here and then continue to let's just stop here and yeah roughly here and continue back to this point and finish this and then we need to create another one so here to here and to here and finish it so now if I finish it so let and go to 3d view you will see this is an extrusion so maybe go to front view and then okay so it looks like it's go uh, it's um, went to the, uh, the opposite direction so you have a few options so see here you can change this to negative or you can also do this so this is a little trick so select this reference line so drag this reference line all the way to the other direction and then um, should be okay let's click on delete see oh uh, maybe not. Let's go back. Control Z. 
maybe just <laughs> change this to negative. <laughs> okay, so negative. Uh, depending on the 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 uh, what should we call this? Uh, the thickness of this handrail. Oh, hell, it looks like there's different things. Uh, anyway, let's make let's pretend that's a one one a uh, same thickness. Okay, so um, let's just maybe I'll just put in negative forty maybe, uh, and then go that way. Okay, so now we have this one. We can copy and paste. Okay, Control C and or actually you can do this CC, copy this, shift, and copy to here. And then for this one, so I want to edit work plan and pick a plan and pick this reference plan. So this way, so this will always follow this reference plan. See, okay. So now we can just change this to 40. So now we have two, uh, what do we call this? Uh, handle hand, handrail. Um, yeah, so let's change the scale so we can see it better. Yeah, so now let's go back to left again. So we have this, and then we can create um, maybe maybe this one. Okay, so it will be the same. But if you go to look at the front, it's actually offset a little bit. So so we can we can just uh, still model it on the left. So go create extrusion arc start from um, I guess roughly hang on let me just go have a look of the front. So it will be go yeah so basically start, start from the middle of this. So I'll just draw something like this. And another one, um, like, so, like this. So I'll just finish, uh, close it, and here as well. Finish, uh, I'll make it uh, 40 as well. But this time, so if we go to front view, you will see it's uh, still going that way and also First, start from the same reference plan, but we need it to be roughly here. So you can just select this one. So you can type in negative 80 roughly to negative 120. So I think that's about that's about it. Uh, maybe a little bit more. So and maybe make it as 30. So we can do 100, negative 130. Okay, so now we can copy this, CC, Shift, pick, select it, edit work plan, pick a plan, OK, pick this reference plan, and then change them to positive. So it will go this way, but it will be the same. Uh, location as this one so okay so now we have one two three four and then we need um, this one okay so this one we will need to so go to left so depending on so it will it looks like it's a, it's a it's a shape it's a um, the direction will be following this member so what i'm going to do is i'll just draw a reference plan so roughly center to this member so i guess roughly here like this can you see it uh, roughly this like this and then we can so if you want to you can just set um, create extrusion and set work plan onto this plan Okay, so onto this reference plan, and then you have these options to draw that profile. So okay, so let's go to front view, and um, so let's go have a look of the front. It will be a little bit curved, so I'll just roughly. Uh, uh, so yeah, 
we probably should have this image in the front view but i'll just get get guess okay so i'll guess so start from here to here so which means it's here to here so let's just draw a i'll just do a curve something like this and roughly like this and also go uh, maybe go up and i'm going to mirror this to the other side and do another curve so roughly maybe like this okay so maybe a little bit thicker so now finish and now I'll make footage should be fine let's have a look in 3d view so now we have this um i think it's okay uh, depending on maybe we need to center to that so 20 and negative 20 this will center this member to this so and also um, if you if you don't if you want to get rid of or actually if you want to have some line between them you can always join them you can always join them so let me change the scale a little bit more so see now there will be some line there okay and also maybe we can join these two as well so these three sorry one this one and this one and this one and this one and then um, if you want to so for example see this you can see this member here so maybe we, you can even drag this and out and drag this uh, let's just drag this out something like this like that um, okay so now we can do the last one it will be the same I guess this time um, we need to create a reference plan this directions and then extrude create an extrusion this direction okay so let's do it first go to reference uh, sorry left uh, left uh, view sorry left elevation <laughs> create a reference um, plan roughly like this okay and then create a, oh sorry create an extrusion and then set will plan pick a plan okay pick this one and you can go to so you can go to um, let's go to back okay so I'll go and view so now you can see we can create so let me just change this to back create a shape like this so um, okay I'll just roughly draw it so maybe uh, from here to here and go up and mirror this to the other side and um, you can you can uh, let's just do the straight line so roughly I guess it's something about like this okay so mirror this to the other side again um, and then uh, it looks like flat so maybe we can just delete this one trim these two so that's it and then trim trim and finish whoops so it looks like there's a little gap there so just trim them so finish let's have a look in 3d view um, not sure looks like it needs to be rotate it a little bit more so at least um, the same direction with that those two so let's go to the left again I'll see if I can, I can rotate this yes I can rotate this reference plan so just rotate this reference plan and move you can move this reference plane but I think that's okay just need to rotate a little bit more okay and then select this extrusion I can we can just center it so 20 and the negative 20 so yeah so now let's have a look in 3d view I think that's uh, that's better so we can then join them okay so um, yeah I think that's quite okay I believe and let's go back to this image oh. 
is there any support at the back? Um, looks like there's some a very thin piece of structure there, but um, yeah, we can model it. We can just model it as a uh, extrusion. So from the side, so we can go to the left view. So basically, it's just the it's the same uh, here. On. So it will be on top of this struct member. Okay, so that's fine. So go to here. So we're going to create an extrusion. So create extrusion. So it will be a start from left. So set, start from left. Okay, create. So I'm going to pick this. Okay, so pick this and then extend this a little bit. So I'm going to just draw something, draw here. Okay, and I'll just roughly follow the shape of this seat. So we can go do this, um, go up, go. So uh, hang on, it looks like I need to do, do go down a little bit and go this up and I can create some, you know, I'll just leave it for now. Uh, you can do this and do this and do this okay so now you can use this uh, fillet arc so and uh, pick this one pick this one you can try to match and pick this one pick this one try to uh, match okay and pick this one pick this one just create a, a little curve so not uh, not a uh, very sharp angles okay so same this one just you know, create a little arc this one to this one or oh, hell we still need to do the structure maybe i'll just leave some space i'll just offset this by uh, maybe 10 so i'll just offset this by 10 so we will have some space for the structure and the same as this so I'll just off offset all this, this, and this by 10. So I'll, ch hang on, I'll change the scale so we can see it better. So I guess we'll, I'll just trim it here and then delete this part, delete this, and I'll just fill it one, two, and fill it these two okay so now if I finish this so of course uh, it shouldn't be 40 so let's go to front view I'll drag this drag this to this side okay so drag this to this side so now let's have a look um, yeah I think it's not bad and um, oh why I'm missing some line there um, that's okay it looks like we need to move that so maybe we can go to the front or no we can't go to the front view go to the left view so because um, we have this reference line here so we can just move this reference line down so go see just use your keyboard try to move it under the you know the what do we call this cushion uh, the seat and then of course we need the support so I'm going to just copy this Control C and paste in the same location and edit extrusion offset by 10 and I'll offset tab offset or the whole you know uh, uh, profile and then I'm just going to uh, finish like close it here and delete the rest of lines so I'll delete this one delete this one and I will uh, maybe I'll stop here I'll stop here so this, this will be the structure it will be timber material so and delete this one so now we can tab select all of them delete tab delete okay so now this will be the timber structure so finish and then let's have a look and then of course if I change material um, let's just pick a material so I'll just uh, 
use yeah, some timber color. Let's just pick a timber color. Go to appearance. So find some material in your appearance library. So go to wood, wood. Okay, so um, I'll just pick a, you know, let's pick this one. Okay, so and graphic, check this one. Yeah, that could. That's okay. Okay. And oh, default forgot to change your name. So maybe uh, wood. Okay. So wood. Okay. So now that's the, um, yeah. And also this, so we can just finish. Okay. So now that's the structure. And then that will be different material. So as you can see, it's still um, all these. That's the limitation of Revit. You can you can tr you can somehow um, use void to to make you know create all the curve, but I I don't recommend you to do it because um, it's more you know a a furniture you use uh, for floor plans for elevations. I don't think you should use um, make it. You know, perfect. Of course, you can, but you you know, t you you need to uh, spend a lot of time to like create all those, you know, all these uh, nice uh, smooth corners and all even this. See, all this is actually uh, it's not like this. You need to create some you know void to cut these to to make it perfect. But I think this is I'm quite happy with this one. So. That's it. That's a very simple furniture exercise. So um, I think we can do some little, have some fun with this. So how about we make it parametric and then you you know can rotate these chairs. <laughs> I mean like uh, really sitting there and you can move it. Okay. So um, maybe next time. Okay. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.